This patient presented declaring severe sensitivity to cold and sweet stimuli and some episodes of moderate spontaneous pain. Radiographs show a large mesial caries on the maxillary second premolar penetrating the pole space. The cavity is opened and after gross excavation of the caries, pulp exposures are evident. Avascular necrotic tissue is present at the exposure sites. Removal of the soft dentin is continued with sharp excavators. Irrigation with 1% sodium hypochlorite. After complete excavation of the soft tissue, the pulp chamber roof is lacking and partial pulp necrosis can be observed. Pulpotomy of the superficial layers is initiated. The wound does not appear regular. Pulpotomy is brought more epically, up to the root canal orifices. The resulting wound is not idle with profuse bleeding. Attempts to obtain hemostasis were not successful with bleeding time exceeding 10 minutes. Which condition indicates the necessity of a pulpectomy procedure? Root canal treatment was performed in one visit and the canals filled with a pre-mixed bioceramic material and single cones. As usual, root canal procedures were limited to the apical constriction. The clinical treatments shown in this video are based on the following publications.